Hello, Facebook Live and YouTube. Hello, everybody. Depending on where you're watching us, it's Jamie and Marcus, and we are in Tennessee. We are. Where are we at? What city? We are in Kelso, Tennessee right now. And we drove past... Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels in Lynchburg. Lynchburg's just right over, right, right there. It's not that far from it's not where right, we are right not now. Not that far. And we drove past Lynchburg, and we drove past Jack Daniels and said... We're not stopping. We're not stopping. Why stop? And of course, down here, everybody's like, oh, you gotta, gotta go, go see Jack Daniels. Daniels. Gotta go see that Jack Daniels. Everybody's always like, oh, you're going to see Jack Daniels you're in Tennessee. Nope, sorry. Jack Daniels puts about 300,000 people through their facility every year to tour it. It is a major, major brand owned by Brown Foreman. Yes, it is an iconic Tennessee whiskey, founded 142 years ago, I believe. Um, but uh, it's too big of a brand. We don't... Uh, we don't carry it, nor do we support it. But we do support places like this. We are at... Pritchard's Pritchard's Distillery. Pritchard's Distillery. In Kelso, Tennessee. And we're going inside to get a tour with Phil and Connie Pritchard. The owners. We've been buying their bourbon for... 10 years or so. Then we have the Tennessee whiskey. We have their Sweet Lucy. And uh, they make rum, they make bourbon, they make whiskey, they make a bunch of things. And we're going to go inside, and I think we'll do another Facebook Live once we're inside and situated. Before we go inside, I want to show you this building. Um, we just found out that this was an old schoolhouse. Yeah, old and, schoolhouse. Um, it's really pretty cool, an old schoolhouse. They don't use all of it, but it's a really cool building. And I think it's pretty cool over there, if you can see, is cotton fields. Cotton fields everywhere here. I think that's pretty cool. And I'll just give you a little quick tour of where they are. I mean, they are in rural area. I mean, there is nothing really around here. And um, I think, I just really like the old building. I think it's really cool. Um, it's got some character to it. It's really pretty uh, cool. So uh, let's uh, walk inside to Pritchard's now. Pritchard's makes this double barreled bourbon that is outrageous. Double barrel means it's been in two barrels. It's been one of our most popular bourbons for the last decade at Aroma Time. And uh, we're going to jump inside. Stay tuned and we will do another Facebook Live so everybody can uh, see what's going on. Thanks for watching. Tune back in. All right. Well, I'm so glad you and Jamie decided to come down here today. Yeah. And today's a real good day because it's quiet. And um, let's talk bourbon. Awesome. Let's talk bourbon. All right. Well, you've chosen uh, one of my stars to, to talk about, and that is our double barrel bourbon. And that's not just the name of the bourbon. That is, involves a uh, procedure that we use to make this bourbon. This bourbon is actually aged in not one, but two new charred oak barrels. So, if anybody doesn't really know, bourbon has to be, by law, aged in new charred oak one time. Exactly. You're doing it in two, two times, two, two times, <laughs> two barrels. <laughs> two new charred So oak. nobody does that. It's a very expensive process. I mean, my gosh, when barrels used to cost us $125 a piece, well, you know, $250 with a barrel, that was expensive. But my gosh, have you seen the price of barrels lately? The, the, the price of barrels has just gone through the roof. But that's what makes this bourbon so good and it's so essential to the quality and what we're trying to achieve. Uh, as everyone knows, uh, bourbon cannot be barreled above 125 proof. Most people are barreling pretty high. But the question must be asked is how does your bourbon get from that 125 proof or that first barrel proof down to that bottle proof? The answer, of course, is your whiskey has been watered down before you ever screw off the cork. Water has no flavor. Water dilutes flavor. I'll give you an example. You made yourself a bowl of chicken soup, and it was too hot. So you drop an ice cube in there. You cool it down, but you succeed in diluting the flavor of that chicken soup. How are you going to reinforce the flavor of that chicken soup? You're going to go back to the stock pot with all of those bones and all those natural flavors in that chicken soup, and you're going to end up reinforcing the flavor of that chicken soup. Not many people have chicken soup ice cubes. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> what we do with the bourbon is essentially the same thing, but we don't have a stock pot. The magic of bourbon is in that charred oak barrel that it first goes into. But what 
we know is that the most soluble element in that barrel are those natural sugars that have been caramelized in, and as they are absorbed into that white whiskey that goes into that barrel, it brings a sweetness. It's only after it's been in the barrel a number of years do the oak tannins do for whiskey what hops do for beer, it makes it bitter. I happen to believe the perfect balance between the sweetness of the sugars in that barrel and the oak tannins occurs somewhere around eight to nine years. Well, at that point, we do something very special. We take it out of that first barrel, cut it down very close to its ultimate bottle proof of 90, and we put it in a second new charge of the barrel. So your first one is about eight to nine years. That's a magic That's science and the magic. Out of the magic, right? Now, now, folks, eight to nine years is a lot longer than most yeah. people doing. And if you've noticed, um, some of the newer distilleries, they've actually shrunk their barrel sizes down because yeah. they say they can get better contact and, and better aging. And some of them actually have heated uh, aging rooms where they're, you know, uh, here in New York, I don't know if you need to heat anything down here in Tennessee, but up in New York, some of them actually have heated warehouses that are trying to, to get the aging to go quicker as well. So you're in a big barrel eight to nine years. Yeah. So that's well, well above the average folks, well above the average. Well, and the long and short of it all, there, there are all kind of ways that you can accelerate aging. But whiskey is pretty unique. You just can't make good whiskey fast. So what we do after that first barreling is we put it in a second new charred oak barrel. You know what's in that second new charred oak barrel? More sugar. More sugar. That's what makes this bourbon a little bit sweeter than most bourbons. And that second barrel is the magic by which we have hung our hat, so to speak, is that double barreling that makes this product so special in the industry. You have a lot of stuff here. We tasted some rums today. Um, Jim, you just want to span on some of these bottles? And we've tasted a lot of this stuff. We serve the double barrel, we serve the Tennessee whiskey, we serve the, serve the, the Sweet Lucy's. So the double barrel was out for a while in New York. Yep. We had a gap of that. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the forecast on that supply? We are currently uh, able to sustain a production of about 300 six bottle cases a month. Okay. And I'm not so sure how long we will be able to sustain that. So New York was only getting a handful of cases. Yeah. And our sales rep, Opeachy, love Opeachy, our sales rep, Emily. Just pulled two bottles and sent them to us. She put on our order automatically. <laughs> she even asked us, so she knew we were waiting for it. Yeah. And she just put on order. She goes, if you don't want it, send it back. I said, no, I want it. So where we're at right now, uh, because one of the famous distilleries here in Tennessee is in a dry county. Mm -hmm. Are you in a dry county? No. 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 And the good thing, especially about a bourbon like yeah. ours, the one thing we say about this bourbon is that it, it tastes expensive, and it is. But the nice thing about a, uh, a bourbon like this is that people are really uh, learning to drink better than, to, than they are to drink a lot. And that's one of the things, when somebody spends 80, 90, $100 for a bottle of spirits, they're going to savor it. And that's what I like to teach people to do. And when I, uh, we have people come in and we let them taste this double barrel bourbon and they shoot it, I go straight through the ceiling. But to taste a good quality bourbon like this, what I do is I take a little bitty sip and I hold it in the front part of my mouth for just a second. And when I swallow, I allow it to pass through the sides of my mouth. The sides of your tongue are very sensitive to sweetness. And when you swallow, you will pick up on that. But when you exhale, you also need to pay particular attention to your exhaled breath. You know what you're tasting when that happens? You're tasting the barrel it was aged in. Ah. Yeah. So, cheers. Cheers. Now this is straight. Mm. Best way to enjoy a good bourbon. I'll allow a, a few rocks once in a while. <laughs> 
but I go crazy with Coke. <laughs> yeah. I would never even, I've had people uh, ask for it before, I won't do it. Sorry, uh, taste it by itself yeah. first. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have said Coke. Maybe we should have said Cola. Cola. I don't put Cola. I don't put Cola with it. How's that? <laughs> this does not need ice at all. This is not, um, this is just so mellow and smooth. Um, it's bourbon. I don't want to say it hides the alcohol, but it's not, doesn't, it's not, it's not, doesn't have that alcohol bite. It's just very super, super smooth. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a measure of that double barrel. Yeah. That's that new charred oak barrel. Yeah. Now double barrel. So if somebody walks into a store and says double barrel or into a restaurant double barrel, they're referring to specifically our product, your product. The, the word double barrel is a registered trademark of Bridges Distillery. U.S. Patent and Trademark Office since 2013. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cheers. Beautiful product. Beautiful distillery. Awesome people here. Thank and you.